Hi everyone, today I want to give you a snapshot of the new Twisby Eco in cement grey. Um, got it in recently and I thought I would show you what the color is like in real life. Um, and I will give you a writing sample even though it's just a regular Eco. Anyway, let's switch the shot and go look at the color. Okay, here we are with the cement grey Twisby Eco. It comes in the regular eco box with um, a wrench and some silicone grease um, and it is a weird color in my opinion so this is not a transparent eco but there's some weird translucency near the cap and um, you don't see that anywhere else in this pen and it is kind of a lightish gray and kind of a dirtyish gray and, and I must say that this pen in pictures spoke to me more than it does in real life. I honestly don't love it a lot, um, but as you guys know, I am the Twisby collector, the Twisby Eco collector, so I had to have one. Um, it's not, it's not ugly, but I don't understand this color. So Twisby has been putting out a lot of um, special editions every year. And they've done a transparent purple, but they've not done um, an opaque purple. And I figured maybe they would do an opaque purple. Instead, they choose to make this gray. I don't, I, I just don't understand it. I'm sure there are people who like it, who are uh, fans of grays. But even, even if it was just a darker gray, it would be better, in my opinion. Like, this is... It's so middle of the road, so nothing. It, it doesn't really lean blue, it's just gray. And then I really, I don't know if you can see that. There, because the plastic is thinner here, like the red sort of shine, I don't like it. But yeah. Uh, I hope there are people who do like it. Because, I mean, it's still to be equal. And I'm gonna keep it because it's part of the collection. But yeah, it's, it's, I'm not a big fan. Anyway, I got this one with a medium nib at Applebaum. They shipped it out very quickly, which is nice. Um, and with that, I also got a Robert Oster ink in Bondi Blue. I was looking for Blue Water Ice because that's one of the Oster inks I love. And um, the bottle I had was at my fiance's and we spilled it, we, we like, um, dropped it all over this uh, the counter, so we needed a new bottle, but I don't Couldn't get it. So I went for Bondi blue I'm gonna quickly Ink this up Give you a writing sample. So this is probably work starts back up next week. So summer break is over um, And this is probably a pen I'll use at work um, For a bit but yeah, it doesn't really excite me all that much. Wipe off. So this is like a turquoise with some red sheen. It depends on the paper if there's sheen. Um, Fire and Ice is more sheeny than this one. So anyway, here we have it. The Twisby Eco with uh, cement gray coloring. And then um, medium nib. It's a very smooth medium nib. Um, let's zoom in a little bit. It's a very good nib. And there's nothing wrong with these pens. Like, I don't like this colorway very much. Um, but this Swiss Be Eco is still a good pen. Like, I cannot complain about this pen. And I love Ecos because they feel perfectly balanced in my hand. Um, they're not too big, they're not too small, not too heavy, not too light. I never post them. You can, but they become unbalanced when you do that. But unposted, it is the perfect pen for me. It feels great. So, yeah, I still, I'm still going to use it um, and I'm still going to enjoy it. But this colorway, not really my thing. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video um, and I hope it helped you make up your mind about the cement gray Twisby Eco. 
Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll answer them as quickly as I can. Um, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.